Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Cryptic Crypts Compass Rider Spire Holly Arnold had always been captivated by the allure of hidden treasures and the thrill of untold mysteries. As an experienced explorer and amateur historian, she had roamed many ancient sites, but none intrigued her more than the crypts beneath Rider Spire, the old church building on the Isle of Wight. The church, abandoned for decades, had a sinister reputation that kept locals at bay and drew Holly in like a moth to a flame. Rumors of a mysterious compass, said to point the way to unimaginable riches and powerful, cursed artifacts, had circulated among treasure hunters and historians for years. When Holly heard whispers of recent sightings of the compass deep within the crypts, she knew she had to see it for herself. She assembled a small team of like-minded explorers, Tom, a grizzled treasure hunter with a knack for deciphering ancient maps, Lily, a fearless archaeologist with a talent for unearthing hidden secrets, and David, a local historian whose knowledge of Ryder Spire's dark past proved invaluable. The team arrived at the crumbling entrance of the crypt just as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that seemed to stretch and writhe like living entities. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and decay. Holly's flashlight beam cut through the gloom as she led the way down a narrow, winding staircase, each step echoing ominously in the confined space. Keep your eyes peeled, Holly whispered. If the stories are true, the compass is hidden somewhere down here. The deeper they descended, the more oppressive the atmosphere became. The walls were adorned with eerie carvings and cryptic symbols, their meanings long forgotten. At last, they reached a large, arched chamber where the compass was rumored to reside. In the center of the chamber stood an ornate pedestal, and atop it rested an ancient, tarnished compass. Its design was unlike any Holly had ever seen, with intricate engravings that seemed to shift and change when viewed from different angles. The needle spun erratically, as if possessed by a mind of its own. This is it, Tom breathed, stepping forward. The cryptic compass, as he reached out to touch it, a sudden gust of icy wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their flashlights. The team was plunged into darkness, and Holly felt a wave of dread wash over her. She fumbled to turn her flashlight back on, but when the beam flickered to life, she wished it hadn't. Standing in the shadows were figures, their eyes glowing with malevolent intent. The explorers were surrounded by the restless spirits of those who had perished seeking the compass's power. We need to leave now. Lily shouted, but the spirits closed in, their spectral forms shifting and merging with the darkness. Holly grabbed the compass and shoved it into her backpack, hoping that removing it might quell the spirits. But the moment the compass was in her possession, a sharp pain shot through her head, and a voice whispered in her mind, its tone both seductive and sinister. Asterisk, follow my guidance, and untold power will be yours. But beware, for those who seek me are forever cursed. Asterisk, the compass's needle pointed toward a narrow passage at the back of the chamber, glowing faintly. Desperate to escape, Holly led the team through the passage, the spirits pursuing them with relentless determination. As they navigated the labyrinthine crypts, the compass guided them through hidden doors and secret tunnels, each step taking them deeper into the bowels of Rider Spire. The air grew colder, and the sense of being watched intensified. Holly could feel the malevolent force of the compass growing stronger, intertwining with her thoughts and emotions. Finally, they emerged into a vast underground cavern, its walls lined with ancient relics and glittering treasures. In the center of the cavern stood a massive, rune-covered door, the compass's needle pointing directly at it. This must be it, David said, his voice trembling. The final resting place of the cursed artifacts, but before they could approach, the spirits reappeared, their forms coalescing into a towering, spectral guardian. The air crackled with energy as the guardian raised a ghostly sword, his eyes burning with wrath. You have trespassed where none are welcome, the guardian intoned. The compass is not yours to wield, Holly felt a surge of defiance. She knew that leaving the compass behind would mean certain death, but keeping it meant living with the curse forever. Summoning all her courage, she stepped forward and held up the compass. We seek to end the curse, she declared. Show us how, the guardian hesitated, then lowered its sword. 
To break the curse, you must return the compass to its rightful place and renounce all claims to the treasures it reveals, Holly nodded, understanding the gravity of the task. She approached the rune-covered door, feeling the weight of centuries of greed and suffering pressing down on her. Placing the compass in a carved indentation, she whispered a silent prayer. The ground trembled as the door slowly creaked open, revealing a blinding light. The spirits wailed and dissolved into mists, their curse lifted at last. Holly and her team stepped through the door into a world of radiant beauty, where the true treasures were wisdom and peace. As they emerged from the crypts into the light of dawn, Holly knew they had been forever changed. The compass had tested their resolve and their humanity, and they had emerged victorious. The curse of Riders Byer was broken, but the memory of their harrowing journey would remain with them always. And deep within the crypts, the compass waited once more, its needle ever turning, ready to guide the next brave souls who dared to seek its power. As the morning sun bathed the Isle of White in a warm, golden glow, Holly and her team staggered out of the old church, each bearing the invisible scars of their ordeal. The compass, now re-hidden deep within the crypts, had ceased its insidious whispering, but the memories of the spirits and their warning lingered in Holly's mind. Back in their rented cottage, they sat around the kitchen table, the adrenaline still coursing through their veins. Tom, his hand still shaking, broke the silence. What do we do now? The compass is still down there. Someone else will come looking for it eventually. Lily nodded, her usually confident demeanor subdued. We can't just leave it, not after what we've seen. David, who had been silent since their escape, finally spoke up. We need to document everything, share our experience with historians and archaeologists. If we can spread the word about the true nature of the compass, maybe we can deter others from seeking it, Holly agreed. We also need to protect Ryder Spire. If it becomes known that the compass is real, the church will be overrun with treasure hunters. We have to find a way to preserve it, not just for its historical value, but to prevent further tragedies. Over the next few weeks, the team meticulously documented the journey. They wrote detailed accounts, drew maps of the crypts, and compiled photographs of the artifacts they had seen. Holly reached out to a network of historians and archaeologists, carefully selecting those she trusted to understand the gravity of their findings. The response was overwhelming. Scholars from around the world were fascinated by their discoveries, but many were skeptical of the supernatural elements. Holly knew that convincing the academic community would be a challenge, but she was determined. She and her team began presenting their findings at conferences and publishing articles, slowly building a coalition of support. Meanwhile, they worked with local authorities to secure Ryder Spire. With the backing of historical societies and preservation organizations, the church and its crypts were declared a protected site. Security measures were put in place and access was strictly controlled. The island's residents, once fearful of the old church, began to see it as a place of historical significance worthy of respect and protection. Despite these efforts, Holly couldn't shake the feeling that the compass's power still lingered, waiting for the next opportunity to unleash its curse. She spent many sleepless nights pondering the nature of the artifacts it pointed to and the malevolent force that seemed to guard them. One evening, as she was poring over ancient texts and records in her study, she received an unexpected visitor. An elderly man, with deep-set eyes and an aura of wisdom, introduced himself as Professor Edmund Blackwood, an expert in ancient curses and artifacts. I've been following your work, he said, his voice gravely but kind. The compass you discovered is more than a mere tool for finding treasure. It is a key to an ancient enigma, one that has confounded scholars for centuries. Intrigued, Holly invited him in. Professor Blackwood explained that the compass was part of a set of three powerful artifacts, each imbued with ancient magic and linked to a profound secret. The other two artifacts, a map and a key, were said to unlock a hidden realm where unimaginable knowledge and power were stored. However, the artifacts were also cursed, intended to test the worthiness of those who sought them. Holly listened, captivated. So you're saying the compass is just the beginning, that there are other pieces to this puzzle? Indeed, Blackwood replied. But be warned, the path to uncovering these artifacts is fraught with peril. The guardians of these secrets do not take kindly to those who seek them. Despite the risks, Holly felt a renewed sense of purpose. She knew that she and her team had been chosen for a reason. 
They had faced the compass and its curse and emerged stronger. Perhaps they were meant to uncover the truth behind these ancient artifacts and finally laid to rest the malevolent forces that guarded them. With Professor Blackwood's guidance, Holly and her team embarked on a new quest. They traveled to remote locations, deciphered cryptic texts, and faced challenges that tested their resolve and ingenuity. Along the way, they uncovered the map and the key, each discovery bringing them closer to the hidden realm and the secrets it held. Their journey was arduous, marked by trials that pushed them to their limits. They encountered spectral guardians, navigated treacherous landscapes, and unraveled ancient riddles. Each step brought them closer to understanding the true nature of the artifacts and the profound knowledge they protected. Finally, after months of relentless pursuit, they stood before the entrance to the hidden realm. The artifacts, now united, resonated with a powerful energy, revealing a portal to a place beyond the physical world. As they stepped through the portal, they found themselves in a breathtaking landscape filled with towering libraries, mystical artifacts, and the echoes of ancient wisdom. In this hidden realm, they met the keepers of the secrets, ancient beings who had dedicated their existence to preserving the knowledge and power contained within. The keepers welcomed Holly and her team, recognizing their courage and determination. You have proven yourselves worthy, the chief keeper said. The knowledge and power you seek are yours, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Holly and her team spent what felt like an eternity in the hidden realm, learning, growing, and absorbing the ancient wisdom. They understood the true purpose of the artifacts and the importance of using their knowledge for the greater good. When they finally returned to the physical world, they were changed, carrying with them the weight of their newfound understanding. They dedicated their lives to sharing the wisdom they had gained, helping to preserve history and protect the world from the misuse of ancient powers. Holly Arnold's name became synonymous with courage and discovery, her legacy enduring long after her journey ended. And deep within the crypts of Rider Spire, the compass remained, a silent sentinel guarding the entrance to a world of hidden wonders, waiting for the next brave souls to uncover its secrets. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.